Hello everybody, Joel Tavman here from Golf Monthly and in this video I'm going to be testing out the brand new Ping G425 drivers uh, up against the outgoing G410 uh, to see how the performance has moved on from generation to generation. Undoubtedly the Ping G425 Wood Ranger has become the world's worst kept secret. We've seen it out on tour for a number of months now towards the end of last year in the bags of pretty much all Ping staffers, most notably uh, Victor Hovland and also uh, Lee Westwood who became uh, the European number one uh, in terms of order of merit with a full set of Ping G425 woods. So really, really interesting to see um, how the performance has changed because there's making some big claims here um, in terms of gains in performance. So I'm gonna test them on the launch monitor, out on the golf course, see how they perform, see how they compare to give you a really good understanding about what each model is all about, who they're aimed at and which one might be best for your game. Right, so Ping G series drivers have been known for their forgiveness and that's definitely the case with this new launch of the G425. Ping say these are the most forgiving G series drivers they've ever made and that's all down to this new tungsten weight here in the back. So this is 26 grams now compared to 16 grams uh, like it was in the G410. Uh, this is the Ping G425 Max. This is like the standard driver. Um, it's 7% more forgiving, Ping are saying in that neutral setting, and it's actually more forgiving in the draw and fade setting. So you'll notice um, you can move it into three different positions. And uh, while the weight isn't actually moving as much as it was with G410, it's actually gonna get off of the same amount of shot shape change in that draw or fade position up to 10 yards either way. So both of the drivers I've got here have this kind of new, almost stealth-like look to it. So there's no color really to catch your eye, but I think it does have a really premium elegant kind of classy finish to it definitely um, i've got the ls tech version here or lst driver i should say so um, this is the low spin option ping saying this is offering 200 rpm lower spin than the g410 lst and around five to 700 rpm lower spin than the g425 max and interestingly this driver is 445 cc in terms of volume so it's a lot smaller uh, head shape than the um, G425 Max, a bit more of a pear shaped profile going to appeal to the slightly better player who um, wants to work the ball a little bit more and needs to knock some spin off to really maximise distance and doesn't have as big a focus on forgiveness. So uh, those are the two models we're really going to focus on in this video. There is also an SFT driver in the range, so SF Tech starts for, stands for straight flight technology, a bit more draw biased, only comes in 10.5 degrees loft. If you struggle with the slice, that's the option to go for. I'm going to be testing these drivers uh, both on GC Quad, launch monitor using Titleist Pro 1X golf balls, get some drive ball data, and we're going to hit some shots here on the course at Burley Park Golf Club to really understand the differences in performance between the, the two models here and also the, how they compare to the outgoing G4 10 Plus. So uh, let's get started. Right, so that's the technology out of the way. Uh, now we're going to touch on kind of before we hit some shots, the looks of the drivers, because it is quite different. I've got the uh, the G425 Max here, and down against the G410, definitely has a slightly larger, more rounded profile, which not everyone will enjoy. There are golfers who like a pear-shaped driver, but obviously you've got the option of the LST driver, which will deliver that for you. And uh, before we hit some shots here on the course, just gonna flash up the launch one of the data now. So hit these indoors, using Titleist Pro V1X golf balls on the Foresight Sports GC quad, you can hit pause, have a look at the numbers, but you will notice um, in the same shaft and the same loft, so these were in eight degrees in the tall stiff shaft from Ping. Um, the numbers were actually, between the two drivers were very similar. Um, ball speed very similar, club speed very similar, launch angle very similar. Um, the spin with the G425 was actually a little bit higher, um, which is not a change I would like to see necessarily because it was spinning at around about that 2425 mark, which is a little bit higher than what I'm accustomed to. As a result, the carry distances were very similar, but I wouldn't say I was getting any more performance out of the G425 than I was at the G410. But that said, when I switched into the LST driver, the G425, you'll notice that did bring the spin down by around about 300 RPM, and that did result in longer carries. So while last year, I would say I was actually getting more performance out of the G410 plus the standard driver, it would appear with G425, maybe I'm getting more performance from the LST and I'm not sacrificing playability because I would say it was actually surprisingly forgiving for a, a low spin driver and also one that was slightly smaller. But we're gonna hit some shots here on the golf course with all three drivers. Um, I'm gonna go see where they are, see where they finish and see, you know, in the real world environment, is the G425 longer than G410? Oh, I've nutted that. 
Oh, that's a good hit as well. Oh. That's the one. It's not bad. Okay, so that's a really good one with the G410. Really good one with the G425. Let's hit one with the G425 LST. Slightly different shaft in this one. This is the, um, the new uh, Alta uh, slate shaft uh, from Ping. So one of the stock options. That's a pretty good shot. Okay, so I've had some good ones with all three of these drivers. Let's go and see when they're finished up on the fairway. Right, okay, so we're up at the fairway here on the 10th hole, hit all those shots with the different drivers and just want to touch on some of the shots that I think are of note and worthy of talking about. So coming over to the left side of the fairway, there's two balls here. The one over there in the rough was a pretty good hit, I think, with the G410. Just turned it over a little bit. And this was a really kind of really heel strike with the G425. It still found the fairway. It's a good five to eight yards longer than the G410. So would, that would kind of conclude to me that the G425, perhaps a little bit more forgiving on those off center hits, but then there's a couple of shots here I want to talk about. So this one up here was actually a G410 shot. It was a, a high toe strike. So it really launched high, knocked the spin off. And as a result, it's gone a little bit further than a well-struck shot with the G425 Max, which is this drive here. Again, middle of the fairway. And then over there, which is actually about three or four yards further, you can see there's a G425 LST. So I think conclusions are kind of backing up the data from the GC Quad that the G, G425 LST overall is a bit longer. The G425 similar to the G410. Um, but, but definitely a bit more forgiving. So in summary, I think the Ping G425 drivers are more of an evolution rather than a revolution. There's not going to be huge jumps in, in ball speed and distance with these drivers over what came before from Ping. But um, definitely the things that stand out to me are uh, the extra forgiveness that you're getting with the, the, the G425 Max in particular. And then you've got a decision to make between the G425 Max and the LST driver. Certainly in my case, found like I got a bit more out of the LST driver, but then it's obviously not gonna be quite as forgiving as the other driver. So that's where long-term testing comes into it, taking them both out onto the course, trying them over a longer period of time, because you know, while it's great to have a driver that gives you a bit more distance on those centered hits, you really need to think about how much of the club face are you using? And over a longer period of time, are you gonna benefit from a bit more forgiveness? Definitely the, the G425 Max, I think is gonna deliver a few more fairways off the tee for me. And if I'm just a few yards shorter than the LST, I don't think that's a big deal. Um, and definitely notice G425 compared to G410, it was a lot straighter generally, a much more stable ball flight, hit some shots, uh, and the slight off center hits with the G410. And while that is a very forgiving driver, they did curve offline a little bit more than the G425. So uh, unquestionably, this is gonna be one of the most forgiving drivers on the market. There's no doubt about that. Uh, G425 LST is a really good option for faster swingers. Um, definitely, you know, if you're looking for uh, a bit more of a penetrating flight, it's going to deliver that for, for you. You've got the adjustability as well, which is going to help you out. I think I'm definitely going to investigate this G425 Max in that toe setting just to neutralize my uh, draw tendencies. And obviously you've got the Arcos Connect now uh, as a stock option uh, with this G425 range. So it's a really comprehensive package from Ping. I think it looks really clean, classic, um, stealth-like almost in its appearance. And it comes in at 450 pounds. So uh, won't be uh, the most expensive premium uh, tour play driver out on the market this year. So you could argue offers some really good value, especially when you consider the forgiveness on offer. So there you have it, Ping G425. Hopefully this video has given you a good idea as to um, how the performance differs between the two drivers, what you're gonna get over previous generation, that G410, and whether an upgrade is worth the money for you. Like I said, generation to generation, don't think you're gonna be seeing a whole lot 
of improvement in performance apart from that increase in forgiveness, which you might find a few more fairways. But that's all for me. Um, thanks for watching. Do click the like button if you like this video and comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, what are your thoughts on the G425 driver and are you thinking about giving it a try? But that's all from me from Burley Park Golf Club. I'll see you next time.